Good evening, everyone. This is Lucy Graham. Um, welcome to office hours for the, our adult learners page, uh, Overcoming Computer Challenges. Before we begin, I'd like to make a land acknowledgement. I live in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada, and we are on the traditional territory of the Blackfoot people. We honor, support, and respect their cultural ways and language. Lethbridge is also home to the Métis of Alberta, Region 3. I mentioned in my post today that I thought I would create a piece on Canva. And so what I've done is I'm opening uh, my Canva account. Um, https dot dot for its last for its slash www.canva.com. <clears throat> if you just put in canva.com and search for it, you'll find it. And if you already have an account, mine just logs me right in. And you can see here, um, feel free to go ahead and uh, add that to your tools. This is a free account. Now, obviously they have Try Canva Pro, <clears throat> but I found I'm able to do uh, a number of things here. What I just wanted to point out on this homepage, um, you can see I'm here at home. Um, you can see some things up here. We can learn about business with education, plans and pricing. And then here there's learn. So there's where you can go to the help center and design different things as well and learn some new techniques here. But back on the homepage, let's uh, create a, a new Facebook cover. And so I'm going to click on this. Uh, before we do that, let me show you what is available. You can do a whiteboard, Facebook posts, if you want to do an Instagram post, put up with a play, uh, video. There's all kinds of different things that you can design here, things to put on your story and so on. But we want to do the Facebook post, or sorry, Facebook cover. So that's what I think I will go to. And I already had clicked on that button. So I'm going to show you here. Over on the side, do we have a bunch of templates we could pick for this Facebook cover? <clears throat> Different elements we want to use in our thing, and we'll do that in a moment. But I want to show you, I've clicked on uploads, and these are a number of different pictures that I have uploaded in the past so that I could make use of these. But let's upload something new. <clears throat> so I... <clears throat> I click on upload files and um, my, my Facebook post today was on raccoon, um, raccoons. So I'm just going to find a picture that I had posted today and I'm gonna upload that. And here it is, it came in already. So I'm gonna add this to my page. So I'm going to pull over here and grab it in. And let's make him just slightly, I don't know, down here in the corner. I have my raccoon. Now, if I go up to text on this side, no, let's do this one. We'll put this in as a background picture. I didn't even have to drag it. I just clicked on it. And <clears throat> let's widen it and see if we can get my oaky background in this. Bring it down. And you can see that it's going to cover up the picture that I had because obviously that was there first. So if I click on this one, I can, I don't know if it's flip, no, here's the word position. And I can bring it forward so that it's not in the background. 
So I click on that and now it's sitting on top of this. So let me make him a little smaller so that we don't lose the Oki picture. And if I lose this, okay, looks like we're gonna have a frame around here. So I'm gonna click on that and see if I can make him just a little bit bigger, move him over. Squish them in, and I know what I'll do. I'll make him just a little bit smaller and bring him down to the bottom. So here I can take one picture and put another picture on top of it. Let's add some text to this and um, click on here. It says add a text box. So if I click on that, here's our paragraph text. I wanna make it bigger, obviously. I'm gonna move it up. Okay. Let me grab it. Okay. And this is for my adult learners. Okay. Let's open this up, make, make this bigger. Awesome, go this way. And you can see the font is this one. Let's see if I can change it and do open sense extra bold. That's better. And if I go in here, get rid of this, adult learners. Um, yeah, that'll work. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. I want this. I'll go and bring it up here in the sky and put it over there. How about learners? And then let's do another text box. And this time I'll bring the text box down here. Come on, let's see, where is it? Oh, here's the little button. And let's put it right down here. Um, I'm gonna click in there and start typing, overcoming computer challenges and you can see it ran off the page because this is too long if i where is this uh here's the motion what there we go grab that i can bring it up a bit And maybe if I reduce this down to 60, that'll look a little better right there. Oops, that was out of page. Let's go back to page one. Uh, delete this page, brings me back to that. Now, probably I should put my picture somewhere on this page since it's my page. So let's go back to uploads. See if I have a copy of my pay, my mugshot. I have it on a number of pages here. This one. And if I slide this up here, and make them smaller, I could do this, I like that. And this is, and I wanna add my book on here as well. So let's see, I'm probably making this too big. Uh, let's see, here's my book. And we'll put that over here.
have a cleaner copy of this. I take this one. Uh, I don't want to expand it. I just want to do. Oh, let's move him. And let's take this one and move it. Traveling Tuesday's book. Put myself up in the corner. And underneath this put. Do we have. Let's see what we have for an element. We can do lines, graphics. There's lots of stuff here. This is just lots of fun to play with. Uh, I'm looking for a line, a circle, an arrow, a rectangle, phone number, a square, a telephone. Hmm. No. Okay. So let's. What do I want? I want to put a text. I will add a heading and I'm going to put I put this in first. Published author. Okay. Published text. Oops. Published. That's the part I want to get rid of. All right. Now. Right there, I'm going to hit that, and I am going to even make this smaller, maybe about 40. They're not both going down. Isn't that interesting? So I'll make this one 38 as well. Uh, let's see, why don't I move this over here while that fit? And let's see. So if I click out here, all the adult learners overcoming computer challenges. Okay. Now, that's not perfect, but it's created. And you can see how quickly I did that. And it's very easy to upload new page pictures. You saw me do that. Um, you could even try a template, shows you have a look at out and all that kind of stuff. Now, what we want to do is download this page. Um, I don't learn. I'm going to call this with a raccoon. <laughs> okay. And if we click share, and if we see here, copy the link to this page, but we could also download. So I'm going to click download. And I don't like downloading things as PNG. Some people like that the best. I like to do a PDF. No, I don't want a PDF either or a PNG. I do JPEG is best for sharing. So what I'm doing is downloading it. And you can see it's gone through and it's come over here. I'm going to hit this and it will open up. And here's my picture. And what I want to do is save this image. So I hit this edit image up here and it becomes this size. And that looks okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm 
if I crop it just a little bit, maybe I won't because this was the size for a Facebook cover page. So I'm gonna save a copy and then that gets saved to my computer. And I'm gonna save this copy. And when I hit save, it is now in. Let's um, get out of there. And I'm gonna get rid of that. And I want to make sure that this picture is uploaded. So I'm gonna click uploads. I don't see it here yet. So I'm gonna upload a file. I'm going to click on this and go for adult learners, adult students. Uh, let's try this. Um, PDF, custom files, all files. All right, let's see. I thought I just put this one in here. Adult learners. There was no number in front of it, so it should come after. Adults struggling to compete to group for those struggling with the online course. No, not working. So that's not what I want. I don't want to lose this. So I'm going to come back here, cancel. Let me just try and upload. I wanted a JPEG, wasn't it? Um, let's try this again. We're going to download it as a JPEG. Hit download. And this is here. When I click on that, I'll hit this, and I'll save a copy. And let's see where it goes. It is in this one, Adult Learners with a Raccoon. All right, let's see what happens. So I've saved a copy of it. Couldn't save that one. All right. The other one though is saved. So let me download it first. Let's see if it will save this one. And let's call this number two, just to be sure it's done. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so I want to upload some files. And this should be adult learners with the rat corn. There he is, and if we open it, it should appear here. That way, the reason I, I saved it to my computer and then I put it back in here so that I have it the next time and I can come in and fix it, do stuff. All right, so let's go back to home. And um, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see recent designs and this adult learner with, a, um, let's see if it, it will come up. Make a copy, download, move to a folder, share with somebody. All right. 
So we'll see what happens. If I click on it, will it come up? Yes, there it is. Awesome. All right. Now what I want to do is share this to my Facebook page. Okay. Share on social. I'm going to Facebook page. And I need to connect Facebook. All right. So in Facebook, I'm searching for Lucy. Continue is Lucy Graham. Pages is Lucy Resources. Okay. You can update what Canva can do in your business integration settings. Uh, Canva may require additional steps. All right, so I'm at Canva. What does this say? Choose a page. I'm choosing this page and write something. Okay, here is the cover Facebook cover page. Cover photo. That I just created using Canva. During office hours. for overcoming computer challenge challenge group. What do you think of this? my post today in this on this page was about the raccoons raccoon come on spell right and this little mast Bandit, what do you think of this photo cover? Or what did you think about my Raccoon advice today. Leave a comment below. Okay, so we're ready to publish. I'm gonna hit publish. It's preparing the design.
And I'm going to X this out. I am now going over to my Facebook page. So let's move this a little bit out of the way so I can see it. You can see this little bunch here. I can hit Facebook page and I'll go to the adult students page. And it already has a cover, but did it go in here? Nope, it didn't go there. I wonder where it went. <laughs> ah. We will see, maybe it's in the other one. Let's try a different page. I thought it went to my account. Might take a bit. Let's go to Overcoming Computer Challenges. And no, we need to edit this. So I am going to, I can't edit this page for some crazy reason. Well, let me. Um, hmm. Pending posts. Group settings, nope. So let's go back to this. Shows me this. And here we see that there's office hours. All right, telling you to join and here's my story. So what I'm gonna do is just create a post right here. I am going to, I can go back to Canva maybe. Nope. Nope. Um, and this one, when I shared it on social, I thought I shared it to my Facebook page. All right, so, and then didn't we publish it? So let's try again, go back to that page. Well, that's the group. Ah, I need to go to page, Lucy Resources page. And let's see if it went there. All right. Ah, it did get there. All right. So here's the Facebook cover photo that I just created using Canva. What do you think of this cover page? And then right below it is the story. So if people, uh, what do you think of this? Leave a comment below. Wonder if anybody will react to that. That would be cool if they did. And below this, should be able to share it. So I'm going to share it to a group. Your page is not linked to any groups where it can be shared posts. So I need to link it to my group and build a community around your page. Link group. Adult students, a group struggling complete. Do you want to link? Yes. Add that. So that's my linked group. Okay. So if I go back to home and find that post that we just did, awesome. Then I can share it to a group. I thought I linked my group. So I am going to do what? Oh, okay. Seven members, linked group. So why can't I share that? Do I need to uh, refresh? Hmm. 
might take a bit since I have so much opened. All right, sounds good. All right. And it's linked. All right, so I've linked it. I go back home. See if I can share this. See if it will let me share now. Share to a group. Highlight that. Ah. All right. This is the photo cover I created in Canva tonight during the office hours for my group. You are invited to join my group. Comment below. And I will send you a message. What do you think? This was completed in about 30 minutes. You can do this too. Hosting. And now in this, we have, uh huh. There's my fan page. Leave a comment below. And this is on uh, my Lucy Resources page. If I go to my group page, and go to this adults one. Then this is the photo cover I created in Canva tonight during office hours for my group. Okay. And both of them are there because this is in the adults ones. Yep. Okay. So, our, I think our time is up. I wonder if there's any of you in my then no who join my group. I'm going to go back to uh, stop sharing and just check the chat. Uh, leave a comment there if you've joined us. Uh, if not, I think I will sign off for tonight. Thanks a lot. Thank you for coming. I hope this was helpful to you. Be sure and catch office hours every Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Not Eastern time, Lucy, what are you talking about? 7 p.m. Edmonton time, which is mountain time. See you next time. Bye-bye.